It's a page 25 example, which is Mark 22. This is a plane. This is a plane already like presented to you in the condensed form. You have this plane in the example. This is a plane presented to you in the condensed form, right? So it's X component, Y component, Z component of that plane, two vectors. You can easily extract your vectors from this equation. The A vector, the position vector will be this vector, right? One, two, three. The first directional vector, the B vector, they will be the vector which composed of coefficient next to lambda. So it's the, this vector, two, four, and zero, because lambda is missing in the, in the third component. Last vector, it's negative one, mu coefficient, mu is missing in the second one, so it's zero and three, negative one, zero, three. That's the second last vector. We don't have to expand this. In fact, we have to combine this everything together. So uh, I don't have it here, I'll just type it. So here's my x component, here's my y, oh, it's not y. It's my y component, it's my z component. Thank you very much. So we're looking at this vector equation like this. We equate this, well, we just now, just rewrite this equation in the per component form, x to this one, y to this one, z to this one. That's my, that's how it will look like. x take one, this x take this one, two y take mu. Second one will be y take two, this y. Take this two and just four lambda. And the final one, uh, z take three equal three mu. Is a system. In this system, I have to solve for lambda and mu in any way possible, and then sub it in one of the equations to get rid of this lambda and mu. This is a very easy system. The solution is like it's almost a triviality because we, we almost have it here, and we almost have it here. So if I solve, for instance, here for two lambda, uh, the solution will be y and two. Take one. That's one, and if I solve here for mu, the solution will be z3 take one. So I use this equation to solve for two lambda. I don't need lambda because the two lambda present here, lambda present here with the coefficient two. I solve this one with mu like this. Now if I take this two, if I take this two, and if I sub this two in here, that will be my equation of the plane. Let's just sub it in. If I sub it in, it will be x x take 1 equal y2 take 1 take z3 plus 1. That's the result of this substitution. If you bring everything together, all x's, all y's, all z's in one place, which is in this case not really a big deal because we should have only one x, one y, one z. If I bring everything together, let's just tidy it up a little bit. Let's just put it like this. Let's put it like this. If I bring everything together, the equation will start looking like this. x take y, y2 plus z3 and all of the three coefficients together, negative one, negative one, uh, just negative one. That's the Cartesian equation of the plane associated with the world. That's, that's the Cartesian equation of this vector plane. And that's where the equation stops. You can see your normal vector here. The component of your normal vector will be one, negative half, and one third. There's another example on the, set, on the next page, on, on 26, as this one. And that's the example which involves the inverse conversion. When you have, when you're given, when you're given the Cartesian equation of the plane beforehand, and you have to produce the vector equation for that plane. Uh, this is a very, um, like a, it, it's, a, it's a type of question which doesn't have a unique solution. There are lots of ways you can do this question, even if you follow the same sort of routine. Uh, the, if you follow the same sort of ideas, you still might, might come up with the totally different answers, because vector equation of the plane, they are very diverse. For, for one plane, you can produce lots of different equations, in fact. Uh, but the easiest solution which I see here is like this. I don't think I put the easiest one in my handwritten solutions. You do it like this. The, all you expected to do in this question, when they ask you to produce the vector equation associated with this Cartesian one, all you can do just for this particular question is like this. You just say, you set your y to be just first parameter of your vector equation. You set your z to be 
a second parameter, the second parameter, sorry, of your, of your vector equation. And then all you do is just solve this for x. And well, at the same time, replacing y and replacing z with lambda and mu. If you do that, it's a very easy solution. The result will be one third, it's this three, which gone on the other side, 12 plus six y, which is now called lambda, and take to mu z, which is now called mu. This together, in fact, this is already a vector equation of the plane. You can easily identify your vector components of that equation. The a vector, the position vector, it doesn't have anything here. It doesn't have anything here, but it has component four here. So your vector is, so your vector equation of the plane will be four, zero, zero. Uh, your a vector, the one which carries coefficients of lambda parameter will be six, one, and no lambda here. So this will be like this. And your mu one will be like this, because mu one, it's the one that you just collect all of the coefficients of mu, and here you have negative two on three, here you have zero, here you have one. And that's the vector equation associated with this Cartesian one. If you understand the solution, you immediately can see you can come up with a different vector equation if you just, if you just, at the beginning, if you choose for your parameters, different pair of x and y. For instance, if you choose x and y for your as, as a pair of your parameters, so you call x lambda, and you call y mu, and you solve for z here, it will be a very legitimate, way, a very legitimate way to do this question. But your vector equation, as as a result of this transformation, will be different, and that also will be a correct answer. 